What I want to do today is connect our Notion app to GPT so that whenever we create a database item in Notion, a prompt will automatically be created. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you could try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started, I need to create a zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Notion to trigger a prompt in ChatGPT, I'll need to use Notion as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Database Item as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Notion sees an item is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Notion, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Notion account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the database you would like to use for your zap and click continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click test trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in GPT into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Notion account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop-down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Prompt, I'll select Title under the drop-down menu and click Continue. Click Test Action and we can move on to our second action step. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen to get started. OpenAI creates our prompts, but we'll need a place to send our zaps in order to view them. Let's use Notion. Type in Notion into the search bar once more and select Create Database Item and click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the database you'd like to use for your Zap. Next, I'll want to fill out my data accordingly. Click Choices Text under Content in the dropdown and click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, anytime we create a database item in Notion, a prompt will automatically be created. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.